Meine Motivation zur Forschung. The motivation behind my research really comes from the patients. I see a lot of patients in my day-to-day -day work and we oncologists treat patients over very long periods of time, so we also get to know a lot of them very well. Hematologist and oncologist Hubert Salve treats a high number of people with acute myeloid leukemia, AML. This form of blood cancer is especially aggressive and occurs suddenly and forcefully. Underlying the disease are malignant stem cells that produce blood cancer. I was at a routine checkup, a blood test, and my primary care doctor told me that I was sick, that my blood results weren't so good. I underwent chemotherapy, and then my disease came back, and I had to wait for a donor. Relapses and side effects can complicate the treatment of leukemia. For therapy to be better tolerated, says Zalva, it would be ideal to use individually optimized immune cells from either the patient or a donor that could attack and destroy the cancer stem cells in addition to administering healthy blood stem cells. The immune cells that we gave this woman definitely do not help all leukemia patients in that situation. If we could strengthen these immune cells even more, that would of course give us hope that they would be markedly better able to remove leukemia cells, and there are various attempts to do just that. Hubert Salva wants to fight cancer cells from the inside, every single one of them, so that none of these metastasis-causing cells remain in the body. To do this, he wants to use the latest genome editing technique, CRISPR-Cas, a new way to specifically program the genome of immune cells so that they can be used as an effective weapon against cancer stem cells. The idea sounds simple, but it's very complicated to implement. Salva and his teams want to genetically reprogram T cells, which are part of the body's own immune defense system, in such a way that they are able to recognize tumor cells by means of a particular protein on the cell surface and then destroy them. To do this, scientists need to continue developing and researching the use of the CRISPR-Cas technique in immune cells. The CRISPR-Cas system consists of a protein and an RNA. If both of these elements are introduced into a cell, the RNA leads the protein straight to a particular site in the cell nucleus. There, the protein cuts this DNA strand with great precision like a miniature pair of scissors. The cell then identifies the damage and repairs it using a DNA sequence that has also been introduced. This principle allows very precise changes to be made in the genome and will hopefully enable us to genetically correct severe diseases someday. The CRISPR-Cas technique may one day not only be used for immunotherapy, but for therapy with a patient's own stem cells. I believe that stem cell therapy has an outstanding future, because it represents a very elegant way to treat patients individually and because in combination with immunotherapy, it really improves the chances of curing disease, also in the long term.